hello guys welcome to this video so in this video we will look at an Vue.js library which allows you to render videos from a particular URL and it's a fully fledged video editor and let me show you the demo so the video looks like this and you see the thumbnail as well so you can change this thumbnail with I am just using my own image if you see have this image custom image as a thumbnail of the video and we show this play button as well so when you click on that button now the video will play if you see we have we have all these controls out there we can navigate to any portion of this video we have the play button then we also have the pause button so in this way the video plays in a video player you can also make it full screen and you can also make it penny player as well playing it in the background so we are using this package video.js if you know video.js is a very popular open source library which allows you to view your videos in a nice little video player we are using this package it's an open source library specifically we are using it for view.js so there is a package here which we are using here let me show you the package if you go to npmjs.com just search for this at the rate video.js slash view so it's specifically made for view.js so if you go to search just search for this package so this is actually the package here and the command is very simple uh, you install this by executing this command and it's got almost 11,646 downloads so I have given all the source code in the description so if you need the full source code you can go to the description so now to get started you need to edit your app.view file which is there of your project now we will be writing the actual template which is your HTML code followed by the TypeScript code we will write it in the script tag so first of all we need to import the necessary packages so using the import statement so we say import and we will be importing the defined component which will be coming from the base Vue.js package and also we will be importing this video player from this package at the rate video.js player view and for this we also need to import its CSS file as well for styling purposes so we need the CSS file so in this way uh, we first of all import this package then we import this CSS file that's all that we need to do and after this we need to export this component we need to write this line define component and here we need to provide the name of the component this can be anything you can give the name to your component let me say custom video player and then the components that you want to use so you have this components array here you need to provide we are using this uh, component right here we are mentioning it in this array so after you do this now we need to provide the actual data that we will be using it inside our view template here you will actually provide any variable that you want to declare so I will be having this current time variable which will set to 0 and a boolean parameter is playing which will be initial value will be false so we have these two variables in the state current time which will be 0 and is playing is false so the video is not playing whenever you load the page that's why it is set to false so now coming back to the method section so here you will define all your methods which will be needed inside your application so first of all we will be as soon as the video as soon as the application starts this callback function on mounted it's a Vue.js lifecycle method it executes automatically as soon as the video uh, application loads so here we will loading the player and we'll simply console log a simple message that video player mounted or loaded so this function will automatically execute and inside this as soon as you require this package 
the video player will load. So if you try to refresh your browser, just go to localhost 5173. Check, just check your console. And for this, you do need to actually import that, write your mention the package in the template. So we need, do need to render this video player. For rendering it inside your div section, you can simply say video player. And inside this, we will provide the source here. So here you can load any video on the internet. That video needs to be public. So I'm just loading this source here. So just need to mention the source parameter. Then whatever is the thumbnail that you want to use. So my is present in my public directory. If you see, I have this image in the public directory. So I can directly access this attaching it one.mpg. And if you want the controls, you will see controls. So if you try to refresh, fail to resolve component video player. If this is a native customer, even make sure to exclude it for component resolution. So just make sure that you mention the same component here that you mentioned so so I think we mentioned custom video players so what I will do custom video player and also for one thing I was missing I need to add the styling here so that the video will be displayed. So just manipulate, you can give it a width of 100%. So I've given all the source code in the description. So I just need to paste these styles. So I've just given a width, maximum width and margin. So if you refresh, I think I'm making a, some kind of typo mistake. So, so now if you see the video loads, so I think you can go to the description guys, uh, you can get the full source code. So let me explain all the options right here one by one. So you give the source parameter and then you give the poster, which is actually the thumbnail. So now what happens if you refresh it, you will see only the thumbnail will show, the controls will not show you can't play the video. So now for showing those controls, we add this option of controls. So as soon as you add this option, you will see the play option available to you. So all these controls happens, you will see that controls. Now, if you want to loop, loop the video, you can put this option to true. Then there is a volume option. You can control the volume of the video. So let's suppose 0.6. And then we have some life cycle methods such as mounted. So if the video is mounted successfully recording this function. And if the video player is ready, then this callback function will be there. We need to define this on ready. And similarly, when the video is playing, then on play. And when the video is paused, then this function, which is on pause, So we have all these life cycle methods of this video player and when the video ended then also it provides you with this callback function you can directly attach some kind of a function and seeking as well so whenever you are going to a particular location in the video then this function will execute and then we can even attach a custom uh, class as well to your video js element So we have attached all these functions on mounted when the video player loads on ready when the video player is ready and on play then we'll just make this displaying to true. So as soon as you click the start button the video will start playing and as soon as you click the pause button the video will get paused. So here we are making this variable from true to false and when the video ends we just console log a message that video has ended and on seeking seeking video it will show the current time and then 
if you just console log the messages you will understand what I am talking about so as soon as you refresh you will see video player mounted ready as soon as I click the play button so you can see video is playing and as soon as I pause the video video is paused so let's suppose the video has been ended so in this way these console log messages will come here so in this way guys you can play any video in this video player you, we are using this open source package video.js all the source code is given in the description of this video so thank you very much for watching this video and do check out my website as well freemediatools.com uh, which contains uh, thousands of tools regarding audio video and image and i will be seeing you guys in the next video